protodermatitis, or more commonly referred to as bumblefoot. This is a condition that unfortunately is one of the most common conditions and reasons why guinea pigs and rabbits present to veterinarians. Protodermatitis is a really big and long and scary word, but what does it actually mean? Well, breaking it down, proto means foot and dermatitis means inflammation of the skin. Protodermatitis is essentially a pressure sore on the bottom of the foot caused by prolonged pressure on the skin. It is usually due to reduced mobility or inappropriate flooring. Obesity and other illnesses that result in guinea pigs standing in one place for long periods of time will always predispose to the development of bumblefoot, as well as housing them in cages and other enclosures with hard flooring and particularly wire bottoms. So what does protodermatitis usually look like? It normally starts with just a little bit of reddening of the skin on the bottom of the feet. This can be quite mild and will usually resolve once the underlying cause has been corrected. As the condition progresses, ulcers will start to form. These ulcers are extremely painful and will result in guinea pigs not wanting to walk, further exasperating the condition. These ulcers will continue getting deeper and more severe with swelling of the foot and then risk secondary infection. Eventually, due to being under such constant pressure, the blood flow will stop going to the most impacted areas of the foot and the tissue will start to die off. Eventually, the infection will reach the underlying bones, tendons, joints and other soft tissues, which holds a very poor prognosis for recovery. Severe conditions can even start to impact the liver and kidney function when they get a systemic infection. So what should you do if you suspect your guinea pig has developed bumblefoot? Treatment for a lot of these cases can be very difficult, long and a labour intensive road to recovery. Some treatment options depend on the severity of the condition and it might involve pain relief, antibiotics, cleaning and dressing the wounds by your veterinarian and in some really severe cases, amputation of the limb or euthanasia. Veterinary care should be sought at a minimum to at least provide pain relief even for mild conditions because bumblefoot can be extremely painful. You will usually be provided with an anti-inflammatory medication. The most important part, however, of treating protodermatitis is to resolve the underlying cause of the condition. This may involve providing appropriate bedding or cage substrate, creating soft surfaces for your pet to stand and lie on, and ensuring their house is clean, dry and sanitary. A vet visit is always warranted as the earlier it can be treated, the better the prognosis is. If your pet appears unwell or other medical conditions have led to the reduced mobility, more tests or treatment by a veterinarian may be required to resolve the underlying illness. One of the best ways you can prevent bumblefoot from developing in your guinea pigs is to provide them with a suitable bedding. This might involve a cage with soft flooring such as fleece or vet bed and avoiding wire bottom cages and other hard abrasive surfaces. Avoiding obesity and encouraging exercise is another really big one. Providing your guinea pig with a large enclosure with plenty of floor space to run around will definitely help to encourage exercise and reduce the development of bumblefoot. Providing good husbandry as well with a nice, clean, dry and sanitary environment is really important to reduce the chance of that secondary infection. Providing them with a suitable diet is also important and making sure their vitamin C requirements are met in that diet. We really recommend Aussie cages as they can be customised to fit any space. They have a large floor space for exercise and they can be fitted with soft bedding and are easy to clean. So it ticks a lot of the boxes to keep your piggies happy and healthy. Thank you for watching. We hope you learned something and don't forget to follow us on socials for more fun piggy content.